If you've ever been out photographing birds on a bright day and come away with photos like this where the bird is silhouetted, well today I'm going to show you how you can recover the details in the bird and come away with photos looking like this. So we're going to start at the beginning, this is a photo that I took down at Woven Abbey of a beautiful red kite, although currently all you can see is a silhouette. Now what you might be tempted to do at the start is to try and raise the exposure to recover the details within the bird. And in doing so, you are going to re recover those details. However, you're seeing what's happening here is that we're actually losing a lot of the detail from the sky. Even if we were to try and fiddle around with some of the other settings, like reducing our highlights uh, and increasing the shadows, you're still going to be struggling quite a bit. Like I really have to push this quite a lot to get the sort of detail coming back and it looks quite kind of muddy. So what do you do instead? Well, I'd start by applying a mask. That's found in this little corner up here in Lightroom which is shown by this dotted circle. Now in the past you had to use these brush tools to draw around your subject. However, now the new tools in Lightroom allow you to select your subject more easily. Just by pressing this button here, Lightroom will now detect your subject and it generally does quite a good job unless the background is quite messy, in which case you can alter it slightly and I'll show you that in just a second. Now Lightroom's done a really good job here, but if you wanted to add or take away from the mask, you just have to click on either of these two and alter the mask accordingly. So let's say we wanted to add to the mask, we'd come down say the brush uh, and we would simply brush onto our subject uh, what we wanted. So let's say for example it missed the tail then you would come down here and you simply brush around and add to your mask that way. Obviously we don't want to do that because Lightroom's done a good job. So how do we recover the details in our shadows? Well we're going to do the same process that we were going to do before which is raising our exposure. And I never like to raise it too high because you're going to get quite a substantial difference between the masked subject and the background. So about half a stop we'll probably do right here. We also want to raise our shadows. Again, we might go up, let's say in this case, a little bit judging it by eye and how it looks uh, in our photo. So in this case, I'm going to go up, let's say 20. And we're also going to raise our whites just a little bit, maybe not as much in this case, but just to try and brighten up the overall subject. So in this case, just six or so. Um, you'll see we've got a lot of detail back now in our subject. However, it looks rather gray, even on this uh, second monitor right here. So what I want to do is I want to come down to saturation and I'm going to increase the saturation slightly. Um, again, not pushing it ever too high, I find especially with wildlife, if you're going above like 20 on most of these sliders, it's going to look quite unnatural. Um, so let's let's play middle ground here and go to about 16. That looks quite good. Potentially as well, you could add some warmth back into your photograph. Uh, being in a previously shaded area, you would have got quite cool colours. So you can add a little bit of warmth if you wanted to. Again, not pushing it too high, but it just adds a little bit of warmth to the colour. Uh, let's say about 10 onto there. Uh, so there you go, you see just how much more detail we've been able to retain on our subject while still keeping the detail within our sky. You'll see nothing has really changed within the sky, um, only our subject has been changed at all.